Welcome to day nine of my fun -a day challenge where I am posting a video every single day throughout the month of January, sharing business, lifestyle, and marketing tips as well as resources, dance moves, and out of comfort zone challenges. I'm Kristen Lajeunesse and you are watching We'll Travel for Vegan Food, Marketing Edition. We'll travel for, we'll travel for vegan food. Today's question comes from Caroline. SEO! Nine pages into Google and my website still doesn't come up. Frustrating to make it if no one knows you exist. For those of you who don't know, SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization. It's a term used to indicate how quickly and highly ranked your website, product, or service is when listed on the interwebs using search engines like Google and Yahoo. Oh, the magic of SEO. I feel your pain and I think a lot of other business owners do. I'll be honest with you, Caroline, I don't currently consider myself an expert in this field even though I understand how it works, why, and what the basic steps are. I've done my fair research on this, but in order to give you some really great feedback I've pulled from my bucket of resources. For starters, check out this really cool blog post on thinktraffic.net. Warning, this post was originally published in 2010, so a few things are definitely different now than they were then, but it is a really great starting place to understand the basics if you're just learning SEO. Now, if you want to kick it up a notch, I suggest checking out smartpassiveincome.com. In my research for this video today, I went to Pat Flynn's website and typed in SEO in the search bar. And what came up was a myriad of resources and I didn't know which one to pick from. Instead of narrowing it down, I thought I would just send you right over to Pat's site and guide you to that search bar so that you can look up on what's most relevant for you because I actually don't know what your SEO background is, Caroline. So if you happen to have some knowledge in it already, the Smart Passive Income blog is the place for you to start. Having said all of that good stuff, I do want to point out that overall visibility on Google and other search engines isn't limited to intricately selected keywords or researching your competition or just backlinks. It's also about proactively going out and grabbing the attention that you're looking for. Oftentimes we can get wrapped up in all of our business to-dos and so we throw up a website and social media pages and we kind of expect people to just find them because they're there. But no more of that, Caroline. I'm gonna show you how to go out and grab that attention and pull it back to your website so that it will not only increase your search engine ranking, but will also get you some paid clients. The first thing that I suggest you do is go out and pair up with some businesses and other people who are doing similar things to you and create a joint venture or cross promotion. You can keep it basic and agree to promote each other through social media or to some of your clients or even friends that you have and agree to just say, hey, I know this, uh, business that could help you out with that. If you want to kick it up just a little, you could agree to write blog posts for each other where you share content on each other's websites, which will link back to your own, and it will increase the little buggies that are out there looking for those updates on the websites. We'll see them and move you on up that ladder. You can also look for business owners and entrepreneurs who are doing something similar to you that are using a different medium to communicate with their audience. For example, I noticed that there was no link to a YouTube channel on your website. So maybe you could find someone who is in a similar industry than that you or in a complementary industry and they have a really active, great YouTube channel. See if you could reach out to them and make a connection. If you could be featured in an interview on their YouTube channel, then that's another new place that people can find you. And in exchange, you could write a blog post about them and share it on your website. I also want to send you back to my video from day seven. If you haven't already watched it, check it out. I cannot emphasize enough how effective and important guest blogging is. And whether that's you writing on another person's blog or you being interviewed, as long as there are backlinks coming to your website from other sites, that's going to keep ticking you up that scale and searchability. Finally, Caroline, I took a peek at your blog and I have some feedback for you. I noticed that your last blog post was from back in October. Ooh, it is January, lady. If you want to keep links coming into your website and going out, then you've got to keep up on your blog. It doesn't mean that you have to be posting every day or even every week. Are you having trouble finding time and motivation to write for your blog? 
well, narrow it down. I noticed that you share some personal things on your blog, which is great because I truly believe in business transparency and you're going to attract people who really like you and want to work with you by sharing more information about who you are inside. I would recommend reserving time to write two or three blog posts each month that are just about the things you're really excited about. So if it's easier for you to write those personal fun posts, reserve those for your own website and blog. Regarding those epic guest posts, I noticed that you're a lifestyle and birth photographer. That's pretty cool, birth photographer. Never really thought about it. You have a really great niche here that you can totally dive into. So reach out to bloggers who are covering family topics, mommy topics, baby topics, and see if you can get some guest posts on their site. You could write about fun topics like 15 things that photographers can't tell you that they wish they could, or how being a birth photographer has changed my life. There's always a way to relate to other industries. In this case specifically, not only will these guest blog posts drive traffic to your site and increase your rankings, but it will also equal more money, honey. M more money, honey. If you don't actually enjoy writing blog posts much, you could try a few other things. Like aiming to have more guest posts than ones that you write yourself on your own blog. Or finding a new medium that you enjoy more, like podcasts or video updates. Or you could write less and share more. By that, I mean it's totally acceptable to post links to previously written blogs even months after they've been published. With the wonderful ability to schedule tweets and now Facebook posts to publish even when we're not online, we can set items to go out several times over the course of a few months or even a full year. Don't worry about it being overkill. If you're building your followership on a regular basis, you'll always have new people visiting your social media pages and your website. Why shouldn't they know about something relevant that you posted a while ago? And I have a feeling that none of your existing followers are going to call you out on it, so long as you're not posting the same thing every single day. I recommend scheduling shoutouts and link backs to posts that you've published within the last six months to both Twitter and Facebook. Change up the photos and the wording and voila, new content. Now I could go on and on about this, but I'm going to leave it right here for you. Now I want to hear from you. Do you have any rock solid SEO strategies? If so, leave them in the comments below this video. That's all I've got for you today. Thank you so much for watching. And as Marie Forleo would say, stay on your game and keep going for your dreams because the world needs that special gift that only you have. If you like this video, please subscribe and share it with your friends. And don't forget to head on over to WTFveganfood.com to sign up for email updates. I will see you all tomorrow where it once again will be the Will Travel for Vegan Food marketing series. Business owners are entrepreneurs. Search engines like Google. Grab your shotgun, cock it back. Shoot the sun until the sky is black.